That's right, Stephen. A lot of people around here are very ner nervous. Now, crews from Consumers Energy started knocking on doors in the neighborhood here. They're trying to reassure as many neighbors as they can that they're still working to keep them safe. Door by door, crews from Consumers Energy checked in on residents in this neighborhood in Royal Oak. The homes are located close to the house that exploded last Thursday on Cooper. Knocking on their doors, just asking them if they have any outstanding questions or concerns. Um, if they by chance wanted us to come in and check for the presence of gas in their home, if they feel uncomfortable in any way, we have a gas service crew that's on standby that will come and do that. Richard Dietrich lived here with his grandparents. He says there was only one room in the house where it is safe to enter at this point. We had a bunch of people out earlier today, and I think. The whole neighborhood's been having people in and out all day. The street's been pretty packed. Consumers says residents have a lot of questions. Well, I just think that, that you know, they want to be assured that we're doing everything we can to make sure that they're safe, and, and we have been doing that. We took extra safety precautions when we moved the residents back in on Cooper Street and Elmwood last week. Unfortunately for Richard and his grandparents, they cannot go back home for now. And while they are able to get a lot of valuables out of the house, they still have a lot of work. I mean, obviously, like Cooper is the main concern because a lot of those houses are in worse shape than ours are. So we're just, you know, trying to cope with it. And it's like, it's tough, you know. We have two senior citizens that we're trying to deal with and trying to help them get through everything. And again, the explosion is under investigation. Now, tonight, the Royal Oak City Commission will be holding a meeting. And in that meeting, they will update residents with what they know so far. Reporting live in Royal Oak, Tara Edwards, 7 Action News. Steve.